Where's adventure time? Oh, oh. Почет, товарищ! My name is Datura, welcome to Datura Place, and welcome back to Dreamfall, the longest journey. Today, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the final episode, so let's go, let's go! We're in the Dark People Library, and hopefully we're gonna get some answers. Where's Brian? Is he coming? Brianito? Okay, I don't know. Uh, maybe he's not coming. Well, it's I see Crow. Crow, what's up? That you? This is a really strange place. Tell me about it. I couldn't sleep for the first couple of weeks. All those fancy lights and the spiders freak me out. Spiders? Exactly. Uh-oh, no spiders for us, please. Okay, Brian Ito's coming. Perfection. Do you mean spiders? No one has seen no spiders. When they say spiders, I feel like Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. He hated them spiders. I do too. Ugh. All right. All right. I remember this place. We've been here before. Yeah, it uh, really looks uh, kind of spideristic, <laughs> if I can say that. All right. Why are they giving us so many loading screens and so much running though? That's my question. Oh, my favorite sound. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Oh! Hi, dragon. What's up? Hi, I'm Zoe. How fascinating. You're here, and yet you're not. Can I touch you? Can you... What do you mean by... Who's that? Oh, I forgot. This is my friend Brian Westhouse. He's a... Um... A traveller, I guess. You sound... So familiar. You've heard my name before? Your presence... Your being sounds familiar, and also, also disconcerting. I feel a prickling on my skin. What do you call it? Goosebumps? My apologies, ma'am. I don't wish to perturb you. Maybe I should just leave you... No, please. Stay. Perhaps it's... I'm sure it's just me. You see, I don't understand this body yet. I don't know what any of these feelings mean. I apologize. You're most welcome here, Traveler. Thank you, ma'am. I'll leave the two of you alone while I peruse this magnificent library. Maybe she you just likes to him. For the same reason April came to me not long ago. You're stuck. I'm stuck here in Arcadia, yes. I need to go back to Stark. But this isn't the only place you're stuck. You're stuck in life, like driftwood to a river. You lack direction. You lack faith. Mm. Maybe so, but that's why it's important that I go back home. People there need me, and I want to be there for them. I don't want to be adrift anymore. I want to be where I'm needed the most. And that will bring you home, Zoe. Your commitment to your friends, your belief in yourself, and your abilities. Faith will bring you where you're needed the most. How? It's easy. You're not really here. That's what you said earlier. But it doesn't make sense. I'm right here. Yes. And no. You're unlike anyone I've ever met. You belong to the story time. Okay, now you're being cryptic. I've had enough of that. I can't take any more riddles. Just tell me what it means. I'm sorry. It's not cryptic to me. It just is. With all due respect... I just want to get home. I want to help my friends. I want to stop the bad guys from winning. I want to... I want to be myself again. The last time I was here in Arcadia, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was back home in Stark. How did I do that? When I fell asleep on the airship on my way here, I didn't disappear. That's because you didn't dream. If you dream the right dream, it becomes reality. You can go anywhere you wish. 
To go back to your own world, you just have to wake up. You mean this is all a dream? This isn't a dream, but you're dreaming. I'm confused again. All I need to do is go to sleep and dream about home, and then I'll wake up and be home. Maybe. I've never met anyone like you. I only know that there are some who have a strong connection with the world of dreams. And you are one of them. I'll just have to take your word for it. Help me fall asleep. Help me dream or wake up or whatever it is you said I need to do to get home. Time's running out. I have to be where I'm needed the most. Come here. She's gonna kiss me? You must find her, Zoe. You must help her. Wherever she is. That's where you're needed the most. Find what? her. Save her. Where did she go? What did you do to her? Did you use magic on her? I didn't do anything to her, funny bird. She left this place on her own. But, but she just vanished. I know. Isn't it fascinating? There's no one else like her. She's special. I've never met a human girl who hasn't been special. For all I know, they've all got strange powers and important destinies. I just hope she's okay. Most interesting. Okay, so Zoe's a dreamer. Like, I'm dreaming on the moon, I'm a dreamer, dreamer. Crossroads, a new chapter, okay. That was fast, let's see. Interesting swamp. Oh. What? This isn't... home. Where am I? It's a good question. Look at this giant skeleton. Look at this modern ship. Or it's not so modern. But okay, it might be a great Dead by Daylight map. That's all I can say. I like these candles. Pretty red. The blood of angry man. Okay. Oh, they were waiting for me with... Uh, Fireworks. Maybe they're celebrating something. My coming. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, right. Oh shoot, I see Gator. Look at this Gator. Hey Gator, what's up? Can I look at the Gator? It's a... What? It's a what? It's a boathouse. No, sweetheart. I asked you to look at the Gator and comment something about the Gator. But alright. She's no Leon. Alright. Thanks God. I'm just following the road. Can I take the boat? Let's take the boat. Even if I knew how to, you know, drive a boat, I still don't think I'd brave those murky waters. Well, you don't want to drive a boat. It's okay. Sea of Solitude. Is that April? And Kia! April. It's April and Kia. Are we gonna be switching again? another run south before the ice breaks, though I'm guessing Mercuria is out of the question. We lost some good people. We got careless. Bah! We were as careful as we could be. We just got unlucky. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Let's just hope we got enough intelligence out of it to justify the losses. I wish I could say that's the case. The fact is, they're getting too strong for us. They tore us apart down there. Easy as... Ah, quit your whining, woman. The raven I know is tougher than that. There's enough doom and gloom in this place already. Which is why I'm going back. To Mercuria? Are you sure that's wise? We stay here, we go there. It's all the same. They're coming and they won't stop. Not until we strike at their heart. Mercuria, the tower. 
<laughs> the tower? It'll take more than you and your band of merry rebels to topple that one, Raven. And even if you do, you think that'll stop them? No. We need to stay strong. Build our allegiances, recruit more people, and keep the enemy from our doorstep. Time and patience will decide the victor. We don't have time. Look at what happened in Mercuria. We have to act now. We have to take the war to them. I'm inclined to agree, Raven, but we're not strong enough. Not yet. If you stay here, we can train more people, build our strength, and... And talk about how someday we'll crush the enemy and take back our lands and our cities. That's what we do best. Talk. They murdered my friends. They arrested our most trusted ally in Mercuria, and they're probably moving north even now. And you say we should wait? I'm done waiting. Ah, the Azadi don't have a clue where we are. Trust me, Raven, we're safe here. Besides, no one but me and my boys can navigate the rivers and swamps between us and the Bay of Fire. Even if the Azadi should learn of our whereabouts, the scouts will give us two days' warning. We'll sink their boats before they even know what hit them. Even so, I can't just sit here and wait. I have to do something. I swear, Raven, you'll get yourself killed one of these days. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if that's not what you want. But if it's south you want to go, if you want to take your war to the Azadi, then fine. You'll have my boat. I'll take you where you want to go. Now, you'll have to excuse me. We still have to unload the grain and move all the supplies into storage. I'll come by later and give you a hand. I just have a few people I need to speak with first. I kinda like this Monsieur Captain Hook. He looks handsome. Alright, he said... I don't know, I wonder... If that's not what you want, to be dead. I'm supposed to be dead. That's the line from my song Dreamfall. Check it out on all the platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, blah 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 and everything. All right, all right. Enough of advertisement. Let's go. Find her. Save her. So apparently now she said we need to sa save uh sa save. <laughs> save April. Let's save her. Already found her. Only save her is the part that we need to do. Oh shit. How do I get down? I'm going down, down, chicken down to paradise. Kara. A moment, April. Please make sure the herbs are distributed to the lieutenants. They are each responsible for their group getting the medicine they need. April. Thank the balance you escaped, Mercuria, and that Bryn and Chowan made it here with the supplies. Your efforts are much appreciated. No problem. Kara, about Benrime, we need to do... She put her life on the line for us. We won't forget that any time soon. We'll sing her song at the tables tonight. The Azadi will be keeping her alive until they can ship her west. They like to have a show trial before executing their prisoners. If I can take a dozen people with me south, I can... You intend to take on the entire Azadi army by yourself? No, April. This war will have its victims. And you'll have to learn to live with that. You may have a death wish, but not everyone shares your lack of faith in the future. In time, we shall prevail. I've dedicated my life to fighting the Azadi, Kara. What makes you say that I have no faith? You've already given up your life. You don't fight because you want to destroy them. You fight to destroy yourself and your demons. Granted, your ferocity and guidance have strengthened us. The enemy fear and curse your name, and you've made them tread more cautiously in the north. But both you and I know you're not doing this for any greater cause. You're doing this because it's the only thing you have left. And I can't have you taking our people with you on a suicide mission. So we let Benrime rot in prison, is that it? We let them take her to their country where she'll die because she helped us? Yes, we do. Benrime wasn't, isn't stupid. She knew the risks. She knew it was a dangerous game to play, and she played it as safe as she could. Unlike you. I don't accept that. I can't leave her to die. Accept it or not, you're not taking anyone south. We have enough trouble protecting our homes and our supplies. We can't afford another setback. 
They're not your people. They make their own decisions. That they do. And you may find that for once, you're on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. I'll see you at dinner tonight, April. And thank you again for bringing us the supplies. Without them, we wouldn't have lasted through the winter. What? Wow, everyone says that April is desperate and desperation kills. As you all know that. Everybody keeps saying she wants to die. But yeah, I see how lost April is. But it's so sad. I. Naane? April on. It brightens my heart and spirit to see you here, safe and in good health. We heard that you had escaped Mercuria, but I was worried nonetheless. And now the stars have brought you back to us. How did you get out of Mercuria? I heard they shut all the gates and posted guards at all exits. As a stowaway on trade ship bound for Corazon, and on a leap first back north along the old pass, as it was generous enough to share her mount with me. I'm glad you're safe. Good thing Bryn and Chuan had just left with the supplies. They were the lucky ones. The stars shine on all of us, April Un. What about our friends at the Journeyman? What about Ben Rime? I'm sure they don't feel so lucky right now. Fortune often has a dark side, but there may still be a chance to aid the innkeeper. What? How? I have just been told that someone arrives from Mercuria with word of Ben Rime. He wishes to speak with you. Who? A stranger. A friend. A messenger. He wishes to meet with you on the West Pier. He will speak with you and no one else. Are you sure this man is a friend? How did he find us? Would I lie to you, April Ann? I'm sorry, Naane. Of course not. I trust you. I'll go right away. Listen, if it turns out this man has important information and I have to go back to rescue... I would not let you walk alone, April Ann. Go now. He arrives soon. Oh, guys, do you remember last time they actually called Naani and Kian said if if she tells uh... Oh! Same timeline! What's that? I think the celebrations might be getting out of hand. I need to speak with Kara about that. Can I see Zoe? No, I can't. Okay, so I think Kian spoke to Naani already. And, um, well, you know. Where's Zoe? Can I see Zoe? I don't see her. This is it. But where's the messenger? Who are... Huh? Okay. Well, intriguing, intriguing, what can I say? Kian. Uh, he looks sassy. <laughs> I don't know why. I like his uh, savage outfit. Alright, Kian. We gotta talk to baby April, apparently. Um, which way do I go again? Okay, maybe this way, maybe not. I'm not quite sure, guys. But excuse him why if it's the wrong decision. I have to rebuke my condition. If you're strong, Kian, you don't need permission. Okay, okay, I see, I see. I see another ladder that gets us downstairs. Here we are. It was a little bit hidden. This place is... Kind of looks safe, except of Gators. Uh-huh. I still don't see Zoe. What is that? Strange. Perhaps it was a message to... someone. Celebration or something. Sup, Nani? I have kept my part of the bargain. Now it's your turn. I have done what you asked of me, Azadi. Your scorpion waits on that pier, alone. Leave. If I ever see you again, 
my sword will kiss your throat. For what I have done, I am already dead. Oh. Well, I see. She actually did it for the people. And she deeply regrets it. I Oh, I have goosebumps. It's such a hard decision. I see April, but I don't see Zoe. Zoe, you there? No. Okay. This is it. But where's the messenger? Who are... You. I, I remember you. From Mercuria, but you're... You're the Azadi. What are you doing here? Have you been... Shit! You followed me here! I swear by my sword I did not follow you. I came here by other means. I wish you no harm, mistress. You spoke to me with honesty back in the city, and I respect that. So what the hell are you doing here? If you brought soldiers with you... There are civilians here. Women. Children. I did not bring any soldiers. I am alone. Then why... Please, let me explain. I'm an apostle. We are missionaries. We bring the word of the goddess to unbelievers. But we do so with cold steel and swift death, instead of sermons and prayers. We are the last resort, and we are feared. I have never before doubted the righteousness of my mission. The goddess is the one true deity, and we must bring her light to the darkest places. And yet... I have seen and heard many things in my brief time here in the Northlands. I have seen with my own eyes how ignorance and fear are leading some of my people astray. How arrogance and distrust threaten to corrupt our mission. I have witnessed deeds. Deeds of which you spoke so passionately when we first met, that have lifted a veil from my eyes. Does the Goddess, in her infinite and unquestionable wisdom, truly want us to commit these deeds on sovereign peoples in these sovereign lands? When we last met, Mistress, your words awoke something inside of me. I have never questioned my mission, or my faith. To do so would be to question my entire existence. And still, now that we meet again, I'm reminded of the parting words of an old friend. Words dismissed too quickly. And I find myself... torn. Bravo. That's a very convincing speech, Apostle. You almost had me going there for a moment. But the fact is, you're an enemy assassin. You're in our city, and you didn't come here to talk to me. I am an assassin, and my mission is plain and undisputable. Only... I believe now that the goddess has led me here for another reason. Led me to you. Why else would she have brought us together? First in Marcuria, and now here. If it wasn't to show me, show us a different path. Sorry, I don't believe in destiny or divine intervention. Not anymore. I believe that some things are meant to happen. Call it destiny. Call it the will of the goddess. Call it chance. But do not call it coincidence. So what now? You expect me to just let you walk out of here? To accept that you've seen the light? No. Yes. I, I don't know what to think anymore. I only wish to speak with you for a little while longer. To understand, to open my heart to a different truth. I believe the goddess wishes to speak to me, to me, and not to those who would interpret her word to suit their needs. And what's your goddess telling you? That my path, a path I have never even considered questioning until this moment, may be one that leads into shadows, and not into light. Look, if you came here to find enlightenment, Azadi, you've come to the wrong person. The name is Kian, mistress. I cannot claim that I came here to find enlightenment. Quite the opposite. Yet now I'm starting to see that a great injustice may have been done to the peoples of the Northlands. If that is so, it's my duty to help undo the damage. You're planning on turning against your own? I will never take up arms against those I have sworn to protect. But I intend to return to Sadir and inform the Six, our Empresses, about what goes on in the provinces. Why? Because it is not right. It is certainly not the will of the goddess. And it is a betrayal of everything I have been taught to believe in. I still don't understand, Kian. Faith, mistress. I feared I was losing it, but I was wrong. 
My faith is as strong as ever. <laughs> yes. It may quite simply have been misplaced. I... I guess I owe you a name. I'm April. April. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. You shouldn't stay. If anyone sees you... You will not tell them. I don't have an easy time trusting anyone as a... Kian. But I'm beginning to believe that you are the real thing. An honorable man. Yes. I try to be. But I still don't understand why you're here. And I don't understand why Na'ane told me that you're... name of the goddess are you doing? Your job, Alvani. Destroying the enemy. Or did you forget that was why you were sent here? There are women and children in this city, Vamon. Civilians. They're all equal in the eyes of the goddess, are they not? Terrorists. Wives of terrorists. Children of terrorists. Sinners. Every one of them. As for this one, is this who you were sent to kill? To kill? No. I was about to tell you. I did not know who you were. I came to find the Scorpion and I found you in his place. Scorpion? That's... That's the name your people gave me after I put the fear of the balance into them. You're... him. Your mouth is filled with venom which, even to the last, you are truly beneath us. And you, Alvani. Arrest him. Lower your weapon, soldier. I'm an apostle. No more, Kian Alvani. You have betrayed the Six. You have strayed from the path, and you have forsaken the mission. You have become soft, like a spoiled fruit. You actually empathize with these heathens and murderers. You, apostle, have committed a mortal sin. You have lost your faith. No, Vamon. It is not I who have strayed from the path. It is not I who have lost my faith. What are we doing to these people? Why are we trespassing on their land? This is not the will of the goddess. So now you question your empresses too. Your hole grows deeper by the second apostle. Alvani. Still, the goddess is merciful, and so am I. I'll give you one more chance to prove your loyalty and save yourself from eternal damnation. Do what you came here to do. Kill this murderous witch. Kill the scorpion. No, yes, please stall. I need to stall them. Her life must be spared. I have no right to end her life. She was only protecting her people. She has murdered. Okay, no. Just get it over with. I came here to face the scorpion, but I didn't know who the scorpion was. I could never harm you. Very well. You've made your choice. Kill her. and lands from invaders. We're in the wrong here, not them. You've fallen far deeper than I thought possible, Elvani. It will be entertaining to see you stand trial. It will not happen. When the emissary... The emissary was the one who ordered you arrested, Elvani, after you let the innkeeper and that smuggler vessel go. It was clear to the mistress that your loyalties were no longer with the Empire. Although, ironically enough, 
You were the one who led us here. I'm sure that will count in your favor at the trial. Maybe they'll even let your body lie in a marked grave. Take him away. I'll make you pay for this family. I swear by the goddess, I will not rest until your beating heart is in my hand. Such unpleasantness. Kill them all. Burn the city down. Leave no prisoners. What the hell? Chibon. Dead. She is dead. And there is nothing we can do now. If you do not quiet down, we will soon be dead ourselves. We might as well be. Listen. They're killing them. Every one of them. What's the point of surviving if we're alone? That's it. I'm going out there. Bryn. No. There are too many. We will make our way to safety and regroup. But first, we have to help her escape. You cannot leave with us. It is too dangerous. You will not survive. You need to fall asleep again. But they're already searching the houses. If we stay, won't they kill us? When you fall asleep, you disappear, like dew to the sun. You travel. I have seen it with my eyes. I know, but how can I fall asleep here, now? Chawan? Bryn, hand me that pouch over there. They're coming closer. Do as I say. Quickly now. Ah. Uh. What's that stuff? Cover your face, Bryn. You breathe deeply. <coughs> what is it? It is a powerful magic. It will make you sleep. Breathe it. Shit. They're coming. Chowan, we need to get out of here now. It's not working. I'm not falling asleep. Breathe. Slowly. Deeply. I'm... trying to, but it's not... helping any. I'm only feeling woozy. They are all the eyes of the Break down this door, soldier. They're here. Chowan? We must leave. Who's there? Hello? Funny bird, is that you? I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? Wait! No! What are you? <laughs> Why the fuck everyone is dying? So the last dragon, Damien? last kin. Are you here? Just got killed. He promised me he'd stay. Okay. I don't think this has been cleaned in a while. Damien definitely needs a housebot. Hey, there's a, a message for me. It must be from Damien. Oh, I can. I'm like crying like a witch. I told you it's gonna be I hope sad. You get this message. I had to leave quickly. The worm was. They found it, and they will track it back to me. I didn't want to leave you, but I had no choice. I tried to wake you up, but yeah, you weren't responding. The good news is, before they caught it, the worm did collect enough data for me to get the coordinates we spoke about. The intrusion into Dream Corps originated in Russia, just outside St. Petersburg. I've sent you the exact coordinates, along with a map. If I manage to get out of here, that's where I'll be heading. If you decide to go there, and I expect you will, be very careful. I'll try and contact you, but I can't promise anything. Zoe, you must leave, right now. When they discover who planted the worm, they'll send someone to the apartment. You need to be gone. The quickest way to St. Petersburg is by scramjet. Oh, and um, there's some warm clothes in the bathroom closet. Good luck. I'll, I'll see you soon, I hope. Take care of yourself. 
Oh, so we're going to Russia. Ra ra. You have one new message from Dad. It's me. I've been calling you for a couple of days now, but you're not picking up. And you haven't replied to any of my messages. What's going on? Where are you? Please, call me as soon as you get this. I'm getting worried. Okay. Bye. Okay. Hello, Zoe. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm currently away from my phone. Leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Hey, Dad. Look, um, I'm sorry for not calling you back sooner. I'm... I've been so lazy. All I do is sleep and hang around the house. Big surprise, right? I hope things are going well for you in Bombay. You don't have to call me back, not unless it's important. I'm perfectly fine. Very bored, but fine. Oh, and don't worry, I haven't spoken to Reza. I'm staying out of trouble. Promise. Love you. Bye. Okay. She decided to make Papa not worry. Let's get some clothes. Warm stuff. Oh, Ru she's ready for Russia. Ra ra. I don't think this has been cleaned in a while. Ra ra sha. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Pa 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 pa. Oh. Pa 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 pa. This cannot be stopped or stopped And the planet focus on it I feel my senses Alright, I love this song, it's so beautiful The group is called Magnet Yeah, that looks like Russia. Okay. This is it. These are the coordinates Damien gave me. If the data the worm got from the Dream Core is correct, the virus originated inside that factory building over there. Okay, let's make it happen. There's no way to access this without the right card or data key. For sure, let's find the way. Okay, so we can probably climb up somehow. Um, Alright guys, this is St. Petersburg. This is no Moscow. So, yeah. Like, I've been to St. Petersburg only once. Cannot say a lot. What? That's the car's access panel. Uh, let's break it. Yeah. Cause why not? Okay. Another puzzle. Yeah. I can solve it. Yeah. Like this. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, baby. Uh huh. Now we gotta get this guy. Hey. Hey. Alright. Alright, sure. So. Like this. Yeah. But then I need to get this guy here. Is this. Uh, yeah, now it works. Perfect. Perfect. And now this guy goes here. This is perfection, affection, wonderful pleasure. In the last one. Oops, not, not like this, like this. Please. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. Here you go. Here you go. We're done. This Smart. car looks to be in working order. The systems are still operational, so the car must have some reserve power left. Two puzzles in a row. Are you kidding me? Circle. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. Circle. This guy. What? Okay, here you go. You don't want to mess with me, all right? Yeah. And the last one. Let's get it. Yeah. I hope I didn't damage it too badly. 
At least now it's in a position to help me get inside. How is the car gonna get me inside? Oh, there's a balcony. On the balcony and I'm singing. Move, baby, move, baby. I'm in love. Breaking in some old factory. Uh-huh. Zero, zero, seven. No good girls ever go to heaven. Yo. I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's go. My darling is a spy. Red Sparrow. Well, guys. So, uh, April just died. April just died. April died. Shit. Love of my life. April is fucking love of my life and she died. What the? Anyways. Rest in peace. Oh. Not you again. Yeah, don't be scared. I've done this before. Show me your teeth. Let's see what I can do. Should just fool this best day. Um, oh, okay, there's another ladder. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's a tall building. Really hope nothing, nothing bad's gonna happen to at least Zoe. Like, guys, everyone is dying. Like, in 30 minutes, we lost, like, what? Two characters? It's all about to fall. All it needs is a little encouragement. I mean, slay. I don't know what the sign says. Please, please, please. Can we do it faster? I don't want to wait till this thing is gone. But most likely, it will get me. Come on, come on, Zoe. Almost there, almost there, sweetheart. Shit. Shit, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Just like that, baby. Just gonna stay safe. Okay, that was not super hard. Which is great, okay. Okay, spy music. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Ditch, ditch. Ditch, ditch. Is there anyone creepy here? I'm pretty sure the factory is chill since they playing loud music. It's probably not a factory no more. It's a nightclub. You see? Ah. Uh. Dits. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool music. Nice. Very futuristic. Where do I go though? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. This console must be for controlling the factory floor. This console must be for controlling the factory floor. Well, do you want to control something? That panel controls the load. That panel controls the loading bay doors. Do you want to do something? Those were probably used for packing the dolls as they came off the production line. Oh, maybe I should use my phone on the panel. No. Huh? What am I supposed to do? Maybe I should break this door? A little bit complicated, okay. Okay. Oh, I see some door. Kinda reminds me of the factory from Siberia 1. Where we created Oscar. According to this, I'm standing exactly in the location where the intrusion originated. 
Or maybe right above it. Oh, there's a basement? It looks like a ventilation shaft of some sort. I can f this was definitely put up quite recently. It looks brand. It looks like a ventilation shaft of some sort. I can feel a draft. But how do I open it? This is my question. D'habitude. Oh. All I can say, slay. Slay Zoe. Pee 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 Ah Okay, let's go Oh, I see what I'm doing guys I see what I'm doing, I have to open the hatch with this thing was this giant thing feeling ugly looking pretty yellow ribbons black graffiti yes right here perfect perfect Wait, what? One more time, sweetheart. Oh, jeez, I have to go there and fix it. Oh! Darling, are you kidding me? They just adding some gameplay for no reason. Ha! <laughs> okay, I see what you did here. Okay. Nice. Nice, now we can make it happen. Yeah! Yeah! Another 30 seconds of gameplay! Yes! Gameplay, ooh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> uh, let's make it happen, let's open the hatch. And just like this, look pretty easy. Find her, save her. The moment ticks, I'm on the edge. Dreams are falling in the fringe. Find April, save April. Face is the only one that's real. I see toilet paper. Oh, it's the exit thing. No one I exit yet. Closed. No, why everything is locked? Lockers. Oh, locker. It looks to be in working order. Uh-huh. <gasps> Look. Oh, at least we got a key. Small key. Okay, look, 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 guys. Oh, I have to use the key. Wrong. Yes. It's an access card. All right, thank you. We oui, merci. It's a bedroom filled with medical equipment. They must have been observing the patient from out here. Kind of looks familiar. Kind of looks familiar. It is. Look at the paintings. A child's drawings. One bed, one patient, a child. Who was it? What were they doing here? And it looks like it's winter outside. It's the little girl's room. It's the little girl's room.
Wednesday, September 23rd. This is Dr. Park. Dr. Zuboff is currently with the subject in her room. The subject is improving after a prolonged illness. She's responding well to stimuli and appears to be in good spirits. She, she even smiled at me when I went in there this afternoon to give her the injection. She didn't say much, but Faith's always been a quiet girl. We're having problems with the new synth, however, and yesterday's Morpheus injection caused the subject some degree of discomfort and pain. Off the record, I have to admit that I've had some misgivings about putting someone through these experiments. Granted, Jiva created her for this purpose, and it's not like she's ever had a normal life, but still. At any rate, it's not like we have a choice. We're simply following orders, and Wati HQ is adamant that we keep pushing forward. They want to see results, and fast, or they might shut us down. Should that happen? Faith, the subject, would have to be terminated. October 9th, it's a, a Friday, I think. I haven't seen daylight in a week. Faith has, the subject, has fallen ill again. We haven't isolated the cause of this latest setback, but Faith's heart appears to be, uh, to be weakening. I don't know if it's her condition or if the drugs. Anyway, she really needs to be in a proper medical facility, but unfortunately that does not appear to be an option. HQ doesn't want the subject to be moved. I... I really wish there was something I could do. The... the subject... I just hope she doesn't have to die here. Faith is... well, she's just a child. And I feel responsible. Partly responsible. Obviously, we're just doing our jobs, but... Still. I'm going home now. Dr. Grundal is taking over my next shift. I need to... To rest. To sleep. I haven't slept, and... Anyway. October? What is it? October? Oh. What? November 3rd? God. The, the subject is very ill. We just gave her a very large injection of the new Morpheus as per HQ's brief, but she's not responding. There's something seriously wrong. I think the dosage... Well, I don't... Uh, I don't think she'll last... Wait, wait, something... Something's happening here. I'm getting some really strange... Hey, hey, has your console stopped working? This is... this is weird. There's just static, like... like a... a I'm just getting static here. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. We're back now, we're... we're good. Well, that was weird. For a second, I thought I saw... Shit. Oh, shit. I think we... I think we just lost her. We, we just lost her. I'm not getting any... Any readings here, she's flatlined. I think she's dead. Faith's dead. The dosage. I think we. We. I think she's dead. Can you please, just. Please, please go check on her. I think she. She's dead now. I think she just passed away. Go! That's it. November 5th. We're, uh, we're cleaning out the lab. We can't leave anything behind or someone might. It's strange, but I, I watched her die. I saw her leave us. But I think, I think something happened. I'm not sure what happened, but something did happen. First, there was this static everywhere on our screens. It killed most of the equipment for like 15 seconds. And then I could swear I saw something. Just for a moment, a fleeting moment, a, um, a, a shadow, a house, Faith's house, her dollhouse. 
I don't plan on saying anything to anyone about the experiments, about the lab, about what happened. But I am leaving this crystal behind. I won't let them simply wash their hands of her like she was never here, like she never existed. She deserves better than that. She deserves to be remembered. She was a person, a girl. Her name was Faith. Her name was Faith. <gasps> this is Dr. Janine Park. That's it. Faith's room. She lived and died in there. That poor girl. This door leads out to the factory floor, but it's closed and there's no handle. So... Oh, this story is like... Oh, Jesus Christ. This story is so sad. Like... I think this is the most heartbreaking story I ever seen in my life in video games or in movies or whatever. Wait, so what what are we doing? Like what's next? Why the taxi is waiting for me? Did she call Uber like she was like, okay, the girl died, fuck it, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, we're back. Reversal. It's a new chapter. I think this is another song by Magnus Plain. Oh. Closed up the store. Can easily have blown your defenses down. Can easily have blown your defenses down. This is Papa. Dad? My God, Zoe. You have not been an easy person to get a hold of. Where have you been? Home. Casablanca. Around. Sorry, uh, I didn't think you'd be so worried. Worried? Well, that's an understatement. You don't have to lie anymore. I know you haven't been home. What do you mean? Of course I've been. After our last conversation, I logged into the house and spoke with Wonkers. He told me you haven't been home for at least a week. Dad... What I don't get is why you had to lie to me. Dad, it's a long story. I had to go away for a little while. So where have you been? I'm not doing this over the phone. I'm home again now. Ask Wonkers if you want to. Hell, check the cameras if you don't believe me. I don't know what to believe. Was it Reza? Yes. No. I had to help him. But that wasn't the only thing that... I don't think we should talk about this over the phone. When are you coming back? I'm still stuck out here. Another couple of days at the very least. Look, I'm sorry for lying to you. But I have my reasons. I didn't want you to worry. Well, that backfired. I know. But you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm back and I'm staying put. I'll tell you everything when you get home, okay? Okay. I'll try to speed things up at my end, but to... No. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come home when you can. <sighs> All right. Take care, Zoe. I'll call you tomorrow. And try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Bye, Dad. But nothing hurts now That didn't hurt 
Nothing hurts now That's Zoe and Reza Leave and Papa, she's so sweet Hello, keeping Zoe. What? What are you doing here? How did you get in? I came to talk to you You've been on a very long journey I'm glad you finally made it back How did... You... I've traveled around the world, but it all comes back to you. Faith, she was your experiment. Jeeva's experiment. She is. I mean, she was. But we weren't the ones who made her into what she is today. That was Watikorp. That was Pete's. I wanted Faith to live out her life in peace with a foster family. She didn't have long. And she'd been through enough already. But Watikorp had other plans. They needed a suitable human subject for testing their drug Morpheus with Dreamnet. So they took Faith away. I know. They put her through hell. I never wanted that. You don't get to make excuses. She was your creation. She was your responsibility. Fair enough. Looking back, I realize it was a mistake to let them take her. But Wadi Corp owns us. We don't get to have a say. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Why are you here? Did you bring the eye with you? The twins? Go ahead, do your worst. I'm too tired to care anymore. I'm here to ask for your help. My... help? What do you mean? I want to stop Watikorp from releasing the Dreamer. And I want to stop the static from spreading any further. You may consider me cruel and uncaring, but I'm simply pragmatic. There's nothing to be gained from Wadi succeeding with their plans, or the static causing another collapse. And I also have personal reasons for wanting to stop Pete's. He has already caused much pain, and he will cause untold damage if his plans are carried out. What makes you think I'll help you with anything? I'm not expecting you to help me, but you will help Faith. You won't let her suffer anymore. And you will stop Watikorp. Even if they hadn't killed your friend... How do you know all this? I planted a bug on you when we first met, Zoe. It's been sending me data at regular intervals. I've heard everything you've said. I know everything that's happened. I've helped you along the way, and now you will help me, because that's the only way you can help Faith. The only way you can avenge Reza and stop Watikorp. It's as simple as that. How can I help Faith? She's already dead, isn't she? Yes, and no. I can't explain it, but you've seen it for yourself, Zoe. She's in the networks, in Dreamnet, on the wire. Whether it's her, her memories, her soul, I don't know. It's not for me to theorize. The fact is that a part of her is inside the networks, inside Dreamcore, and she's suffering. But you can help her, Zoe. If I do this, I won't stop with Watty or with Pete's. You need to be held accountable, too. I'm a marked woman. The moment the eye finds me, I'm dead. Watty doesn't want me walking around, telling people what I know. If that's not accountability, I don't know what is. And right now, all I want is revenge for what they've done to me and my company. If it means losing everything, so be it. So what is it you want me to do? You need to go into Dreamnet and convince Faith to let go. Once that happens, the network will shut down, and Angana, Dreamcore, will disconnect from the wire. Convince Faith to... 
How do I do that? And why me? Because you have a connection with her. I don't know what it is. You seem to share some of her more esoteric genetic qualities. And she's taken a shine to you. Besides, no one else has been able to find out where in the network Faith or her residue, her memories, reside. I've tried. But it's like she's not actually in there. You, on the other hand, have met her. Several times. She's reaching out to you. She needs you. And to help her, you must first help me. How? I've brought a dreamer. You go inside. Talk to Faith. Find a way to make her let go. Whatever she's become, a, a virus, a ghost in the machine, only she can stop this. If she keeps holding on, if her influence keeps spreading across the wire, it will eventually shut down completely. We're talking days. Maybe less than that. If she can do that, what is she? I don't know. Like I said, a ghost in the machine. Her body is gone, but her mind. They pumped her full of Morpheus. They murdered her with an overdose. Who knows? Maybe there is something as banal as an immortal soul. And that's what's left of her. She died while she was inside Dreamnet, dreaming a very, very powerful dream. Maybe she's still in that dream, and that's what's spreading across the wire. Whatever the answer, it doesn't matter. The fact is that Faith is in there somehow, inside Dreamnet, inside Angana. And she needs to leave. You're saying she needs to die? She's already dead, Zoe. That's a fact. Whatever's left of her isn't happy in there. She needs to... shut down. Move on, whatever you want to call it. And you expect me to ask her to let go? To die? Yes, because it's the right thing to do. Listen to me. We're running out of time. I need you to make a choice. Either you do this, or I leave, and you never see me again. If that happens, the wire will break down, causing untold damage. Wattie Corp may still succeed in releasing the Dreamer, and Pete's plans could still come to fruition. Who is the greater evil here? Him or me? I think you're despicable. You used an innocent person as a test subject. You made her, and then you discarded her. And for what? To research dreams? Still, I won't let the bad guys win. I've come this far, and I'm going all the way. Someone told me not long ago that I lack commitment. Well, connect me to the dreamer. I'm going to give you a highly concentrated dose of Morpheus, more than what you've received before. It won't harm you, but it will allow you to control your environment. That way, Faith won't be able to push you out again. What do I tell her? How do I make her let go? I don't know. You have to figure that out on your own. This is unknown territory. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. the last chapter guys chapter 13 so it's the exact same dollhouse as in her old room Faces there playing. 
I wonder who else lives in this house. Hello? Hi. You must be Faith. I'm Zoe. I know. What are you doing? Playing. I see. What are you playing? A game. Really? Can I play too? Maybe. Okay. You've been helping me, haven't you, Faith? The white lady told me to. Oh. What did the white lady say? She said to talk to you. Did she tell you that I had to save April Ryan? Yes. What does the white lady look like? She's all white. When did you last see her? She was here, just before you. She was? Yes. What did she say? She said it's all fine. She said you did good. She said you saved April. That's what she said? That I saved April? Yes. You know I've been looking for you, don't you? Yes. Why me? Why did you talk to me, Faith? Because you're like me. Like you... how? You dream like me. You mean... dream things true? Yes. You're my sister. I'm... what? Your sister? Yes. You're my big sister. You mean because of the way we dream? No, because we're sisters. For real. Faith, this is very important. What makes you think we're sisters? I just know. And the white lady says so too. We have the same mother. We do. Faith, I'm sorry, but that's not possible. My mother died long before you were born. Mm-mm. No. Our mother isn't dead. And we are sisters. That's... That's impossible. It's true. I know. I'm not lying. I believe you, Faith, OK? I, I do believe you. It's just... I thought my mother was dead. Do you remember your mother? No, I don't know. And I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. Faith, why are you here? Because I don't have anywhere else to go. You can't stay here. You're hurting the world. I know. That's what the white lady said. But I don't know where to go. And... and... and I'm scared, Zoe. I know. I would be too. But sometimes, we have to let go. Sometimes, we just have to trust that things will be okay. Sometimes, we just have to have... Faith. Faith. You're not supposed to be here anymore. You're supposed to be... to be gone. I'm supposed to be dead. No, you're not supp... Yes. Yes, Faith. You're supposed to be dead. I know, but I don't want to go. I'll be alone. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't promise you anything. But I believe there's something better waiting for you. I have faith. And I can promise you that I'll stay here as long as you need me to. You'll stay with me? I will. You won't have to be alone anymore. Okay. Look at that little dark thing, it's like wonkers. The clock is going the other way.
sleepy, Zoe. It's okay, sweetie. You can go to sleep. I'm getting cold, too. Come here. Better? Yes. Will you stay with me? As long as you need me to, Faith. Even when I'm sleeping? Even when you're sleeping. I promise. Okay. Good night, Zoe. Good night, big sister. Good night, little sister. Goodbye, Faith. So freaking sad, she says, right. Sam! Sam! Is that you? Oh, you must help me. There's only darkness. They stole my eyes, my ears. <laughs> he took the world away from me. There's nothing left. Nothing. Do you hear me? Are you there? I need my senses back. Answer me! Answer me! Pets? Pop, I can't hear you. And he can't talk to you. Oh, pets. Pets. What are you? Okay, the nasty guy is dead. Minus one. Sorry about this, Zoe, but I can't let you wake up again. Goodbye. You really are a very beautiful girl. So like your father. I never thought I'd see you again. And I wish it didn't have to end like this. So there it is, my story. It sounds pretty unbelievable, I know. Parts of it still feel like a dream to me, but it did happen. All of it. I help send Faith on her way. The static is gone. Things are back to normal. All should be well with the world. Except it's not. At all. The bad guys got away with it. The dreamer could still be released. If that happens... I'm not sure how long I've been here, or how long I'm going to stay. But there's nothing more I can do now. My story's been told. The future is out of my hands. And in yours. You need to do something. You need to tell my story until the word is out. Until everyone knows what's going on. If you don't... I'm leaving soon. 
but I'm not afraid. If death is the end, I know that our dreams remain behind. So whoever you are, whatever you plan to do, good luck. I'm sure you'll need it. I hope my story has been heard. I feel really stupid if I find out I've been talking to myself this whole... Reza. Thank God. How is she? She's fading away. Careful, Dad. That is not him. Goodbye. Story time. Welcome to the story time, Zoe. Hello. Am I dead? I don't know. It doesn't matter here. This is where everything is. Here, you simply are. Alive or dead, you just are. Understand? No, but please go on. You're special, Zoe. I am? You are. You are a dreamer. Someone else told me that. Is that good? It is. And it isn't. There's nothing good or bad about it. Like the stars above and the stones below. It simply is. Oh. So, where are we again? In the story time. This is where the stories are told. The stories that create the sky and the ground and all that is in between. You see, Zoe, this universe and everything in it is like an endlessly thick book containing countless stories. That's amazing. Can you tell me one of those stories? I could. Not now. There's no time. We need to act before it's too late. You're here to tell me a story, Zoe. I am. You are. I see. What's happening? Why do we have to act? Because the undreaming is unchained. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. So where do I begin? At the beginning. Sally. At the beginning? It's going to be a long story. That's fine. Okay. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I think I might be dead, but I'm not sure. My father's name is Gabrielle. Oh, guys. This is it. Three months and later. Finally, today's the day everyone's been waiting for. Isn't that right, Ryan? <laughs> That's right, Diane. It's been a closely guarded secret for months. But today, Watikor finally unveils its hotly anticipated new product, Dreamtime. Fans have been lining up in front of stores for weeks in preparation for what some are calling the single greatest event in recorded history. Wow. If you didn't have to be here this morning, Ryan, I'm sure you'd be out there lining up with the rest of them. <laughs> you betcha, Diane. Watikor has yet to reveal what Dreamtime is all about, except that it's destined to change the face of entertainment forever. Wire rumors have it that Dreamtime will allow people to dream lucid dreams about anything they want. Isn't that something, Ryan? Modern technology. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it, Diane. <laughs> Oh, 
That's the Zadi Tower. Oh shit! This is it. <laughs> All right, Ragnar. All right, Ragnar Tornquist. Oh guys, what a game. Okay, I'm just gonna um skip the credits because it's licensed. The music is licensed. There's a scene after um after. Can we see, please? Oh, okay. We cannot see uh, the scene after uh, the credits, unfortunately. Or actually, let me do it. Okay, guys, look. I found it on YouTube, so let's see it. Filmed on location in Stark and Arcadia. No grubbers were harmed in the making of this game. Alright. Filmed on location in Stark and Arcadia. Funny. The undreaming is unchained. This is not a cute end, huh? And can you imagine? So after this game, they left us for 10 years to guess what's happening next. Will we ever see the continuation of the story? Nobody knew. But thanks God, they released dreamful chapters. Nineteen thirty three. It's Brian West House. Okay, Chavez. Okay, Chavez. Wait, so we started the game with uh, Brian uh, teleporting to story time, and we're ending the game with Chavez helping Brian to teleport to story time. Interesting. Okay. Basically, that's it. Uh, that's the cutscene, uh, the after credits cutscene. Oh guys, what a game, like, it was released in 2004 or 2006, I don't really remember, and back there, uh, back in the day, it was a huge hit, like, it was one of the first games like this, like, interactive movies. I was fascinated, it was so beautiful, ugh. And story-wise, I still, even nowadays, like a lot, many, many years later, I still don't even know if there's any other story that is as detailed and amazing as Dreamfall, the longest journey thing. But here we are. Uh, Faith is uh, my favorite episode of all the games, like, ever. Like, this little sequence with this little girl. Ah. So important I think faith is so important uh, that's why I wrote the dreamful song my song uh, and that's why I'm telling you all to check it out because it's really uh, it was really hugely influenced by uh, the longest journey and dreamful and really affected me as a person and I just think you might like it anyways that's it that was dreamful the longest journey i really hope you liked it we're gonna start dreamful chapters right away and see the end of this amazing story thanks god we don't have to wait 10 years 
Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to drop a like, write a comment, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.